Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share my favorite games played during the month of June. Yes, it's been a while I don't upload a video like this, but I usually like to upload a video like this when the month is really, really crowded with a lot of games and I get to play a whole bunch of games and I almost finished a lot of them and i really love to enjoy uh, share with you guys the games that i played during the month so here it is this is june 2020 and i wanted to share what games that i played the most this month and i loved so first of all let's go and start with the xbox one x right on the xbox one x you don't see a disc here because all i've been playing is digitally on the xbox one x if you've seen my channel i got i did the unboxing of the cyberpunk 2077 and um, edition for the Xbox One X, which looks beautiful, gorgeous, excellent. One of the best looking consoles I've ever seen. And I really, really love this. So on the Xbox One X, the games that I've been playing the most is Halo 5 because I never did play Halo 5 before. And oh my God, I'm on mission 12. And so far I'm loving it. I don't know what was the ba uh, bad thing about the game. I know a lot of people complained that Master Chief was not that much in, in the game, but I'm liking the story and the action is really damn awesome. So I hope now that I finish the last of us 2 i hope i i hop back to halo 5 and i hope i finish it soon before infinite actually comes out and the other game on the xbox one um, x that i've been playing which looks gorgeous as hell is forza horizon 4 which i still believe it's one of the best racing franchise there is in the world it's just amazing i just i uh, can't get enough of that game that game always looks great uh, it doesn't matter and it feels so awesomely beautiful when you're racing um, any race that you do in this game so yeah those two games are the games that i've been playing the most on the xbox one x one thing is that man i, I don't get it why gears tactics is not on the xbox one x it kind of sucks because that's the game i was playing on pc and i was hoping to play it on the xbox one x since you know it's 4k and it looks beautiful uh, but apparently it's coming out later on in the future is coming out for the Xbox One X, right? So on the other hand, the game that I've been playing on PlayStation 4 that I just finished, uh, I would say, days ago, uh, it's The Last of Us 2. This game is beautiful, masterpiece, gorgeous, amazing gameplay, amazing graphics, amazing motion twisting story and i just loved it you know the only thing that sucks is that i finished it in six days a game that i've been waiting for seven years i just finished it in six days so it kind of sucks for a lot of you people that actually rushed it and finished it like in, like in two days you know because honestly this is a game that you need to take a break and then come back to it and i just loved it i just loved it so yeah this is of course the only game that i played during the game the, the month of june uh, which kind of says because i haven't been playing too much on the playstation 4 and i guess the next playstation 4 i'm going to be playing is ghost of shusima so you know stay alert for that on my channel so yeah the only game i played on the on the playstation 4 was last of us part 2 now when it comes to the switch there's a whole bunch of games i played right and there's more games that i played than what you see here uh, but these are the games that I played the most and that I almost also finished uh, uh, some of these. Like, for example, this game came out on the 29th of May, but of course I ended up playing it, playing it on June. It came out with um, 2K, actually came out with 2K Borderlands, 2K Bioshock, and 2K XCOM 2 for the Nintendo Switch. And XCOM 2 is the game that I've been playing the most out of all three 2K games. This is the game that I've been playing the most and oh my god, it is so freaking awesome to play these type of games on the go. So yeah, and I finished the story. I finished the whole story and now just the other day I started playing War of the Chosen in expansion and so far I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. So yeah, this is one of my favorite games of the month for the Nintendo Switch. The other game that I've been playing a lot came out i think it was on june 5th i think the outer worlds uh yes this game does not have great graphics uh, especially in tv mode but in portable mode it looks great in portable mode i loved it i played it completely and finished it completely the whole story uh there is like different endings for this game depending on the things that you do in the world 
So I believe I got a good ending. I really liked the ending and I, I was satisfied. I could still go back and do other missions, I think. I think I can. Uh, but yeah, I played a lot of this game. I finished it. So for me, it was very easy to play these two games, like almost at the same time. Like, for example, I would play a lot of XCOM 2. Then when I get tired, I'll, I'll go and switch to Outer Worlds because they're two very different games. So when I got tired of this, I would go back here. When I got tired of this, I would go back here. Eventually, I ended up finishing both games almost at the same time. So yeah, I love these two games. Um, also, the game that I've been playing a lot that came out recently, same day as Last of Us, was Burnout Paradise. This game looks great on, on mobile and on TV mode. And it runs very, very smooth, um, 60 frames per second, 720p if you're on the go, 1080p on TV mode. And it just, it's very, very fun. It's very, very exciting to play all these races. The crashes looks incredible. And the different types of vehicles that you unlock also looks incredible. So yeah, um, this Burnout Paradise is another game that I've been playing a lot. Of course, I haven't finished it. There's so many races there, but it is really good. It is a very, very good port. But of course, besides three, these three games I've been playing on the Nintendo Switch, so many other games like Animal Crossing, I played every day to do my chores. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons, I also played that game and almost finished it. And so there's been a lot of games, but these are the ones that I've been playing the most on the Nintendo Switch. So uh, next month, I believe I'll be playing a lot Mario Paper. Is it Paper Mario or something like that? That game, definitely going to be playing it, which comes out the same day as Ghost of Tsushima. So it's going to be a very busy weekend. So stay tuned for that on my channel. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you like these type of videos and what games did you play the most on which console during the month of June? Which console? What games? Let me know. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.